Blessed love and blessed day. Boxing world. Boxing nation. Fighting world. Fighting nation. It's Coach Fire and this is Real Life Boxing. Today we're going to pray for Maxime Dadashev. And I want everybody to hashtag Maxime Dadashev everywhere. Maxime Dadashev. Before we get into it, I'm going to ask you guys to smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you can be notified when new content is being uploaded and you can be notified um, when we go in live. First video of the morning, um, and this is what it is. We're not going to start the day off by without paying respect to Maxime Dadashev. Um, Maxime Dadashev, again, I told you guys last night, fought on Friday night on ESPN's um, Tiafimo Lopez card. He was in the co-main event in a 140-pound um, title eliminator against a Puerto Rican fighter. The fight started off competitive in... Um, As the course of the fight, you know, went on, it turned into a one-sided fight, um, not in the favor of Maxime Dadashev. At the end of the 11th round, his Hall of Fame ex-fighter and his Hall of Fame coach, trainer, Buddy McGurk, um, he called a halt to the action. He said, um, Dadashev, you've had enough. You know, I'm not sending you back out there. Mad Max was upset. Mad Max wanted to go back out there, but Buddy McGurk would not let him. Shortly after that, Maxime Dadashev was being carried back to the um, to the locker room, was making his walk back to the locker room. Um, passed out multiple times, his legs kept giving out on him, kept giving out on him, kept giving out on him as he walked back to the, um, to the locker room. Um, then he began to vomit, they put him on the stretcher, he just began to vomit um, repeatedly. He then, um, he then went to the hospital. So I'm gonna start the article here. Unfortunately for Dadashev, who absorbed north of 300 pounds, north of 300 punches, so he got hit more than 300 times, um, is what they're saying over the course of the contest he could not exit the ring under his own power and collapsed to the ground immediate medical attention was provided and he was assisted to a stretcher and taken away in an ambulance vomiting profusely while inside initially he was reported as responsive but um severely concussed and severely dehydrated he eventually lost consciousness while in the ambulance um Dadashev has since completed a two-hour operation to relieve a subdural hematoma, otherwise known as bleeding of the brain. Early Saturday morning, the neurosurgeon, um, I can't say this person's name, had said that the boxer had suffered a brain bleed on the right side and that his head was shaved and his scalp open and that he was showing signs of severe brain damage. He had been given medication to decrease swelling. Right now, he's in critical condition, but the doctor told me that he's stable. Dadashev's strength and conditioning coach, who's visited with the fighter on Saturday afternoon, told ESPN, we know that the bleeding has stopped also. The swelling has stopped. So some positive news. We hope and pray for the best. I'll be honest. I woke up this morning, I read that article, and I cried. Um... This, this has happened a lot. Um, this year we had, we had um, Adonis Stevenson. Um, we had the legendary Zab Jude a couple weeks ago. Um, any of you guys subscribe to my channel um, from the beginning or at least for like six months. Um, you guys know that I have a son. He's 11 years old. He's been doing Taekwondo since he was five. He's a two-time state champion. He's a national. He's a black belt. He's a beast. 
He is now um, training in boxing and supposed to have his first fight in August. Um, I'm always, um, always on top of my son. Always, um, always making sure he's all he's okay. I'm always asking him how he's feeling. Um, even after he spars, um, I'm constantly asking him how he feels, how he feels, how he feels, all the way until we get, all the way until we get to the house. I'm asking him um, how you feel. You okay? You okay? You okay? Because there's really no way to um to detect these things, man. It can be like literally you're fine one second, the next second you're not. Can you imagine how Buddy McGurk must feel? Um, Maxime Dadashev is fighting for his life. Like literally fighting for his life. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it's boxing, man. It's boxing. It's boxing. The beautiful but brutal, savage sport of boxing. Anyway, um, this is what we got to do today. I watched the video um, by Showbiz the Adult last night, and he was saying hashtag Dada Chef. So that's the move right now. Hashtag Dada Chef everywhere. If you're in the video, hashtag Dada Chef in the comments. Um, everywhere today is hashtag Dada Chef. Even if I'm doing a video and I'm not talking about Maxime Dadashev, I'm hashtagging Dadashev. So the reason being is because when these fighters, when, when this happens, we can't just let these fighters be forgotten about. Because if Maxime Dadashev had won, everybody would still be talking about him. So we can't let these fighters be forgotten about um, when stuff like this happens. You know what I mean? I always cover him and I hadn't gotten to cover this story um, because I was traveling and whatnot. And then I meant to do it yesterday and I didn't. So today, first video, top of the morning, everywhere, we hashtagging Dada Chef. So I want everyone to keep Maxime Dada Chef in, the, in their prayers. We don't know this guy. You don't have to know him personally. Say a prayer to him. Um, the world and energy works in mysterious ways, man. So just, I want everyone to say a prayer for Maxime Dada Chef today and it's hashtag Dada Chef everywhere. It's hashtag Dada Chef everywhere today. It's hashtag Maxime Dada Chef everywhere today. That's how we doing it. That's how we doing it today. Hashtag Maxime Dada Chef everywhere. All right. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. I'm going to end this stream now. I just wanted to get up and do a quick live stream. Let's pray for Maxime Dadashev. Share this video. Um, if you come across this video, share it. And remember today, everything is hashtag Maxime Dadashev. Keep fighting the fight and protect yourself at all times, man. Remember, it's hashtag 